Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the LG G5 here versus the Samsung Galaxy S7S. So it's going to be a battle till the end. So we're going to be doing a boot up test, an apps opening test, a multi-tossing test, and then there's going to be a bonus uh, fingerprint sensor test also. So let's go ahead and boot both of these two phones up at the same time in 3, 2, 1, go! And obviously, if we talk about the specs here a little bit, the Galaxy S7 Edge is having a Exynos 8890 chipset uh, versus the LG G5, which comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820. Uh, both phones have 4 gigs of RAM, uh, which is pretty insane. So also, both phones are running on the latest version of Android, which is 6.0.1 Marshmallow. So you can see Galaxy S7 Edge just a tad bit faster compared to the G G5 when it comes to booting up. Okay, so time for some apps opening showdown and you can see I have cleared all the recent apps so I'm just gonna go back and uh, open up some of the uh, some of my most used applications and uh, also both phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network you can see Giggity 5G Giggity 5G so let's go ahead and start off with the Play Store here we go and the LG G5 just slightly faster okay let's see here uh, next off will be Facebook here we go okay so that was pretty much equal no difference there uh, next off is Instagram and you can see both phones exactly they, they open the app exactly and they also refresh the content exactly at the same time, no difference there. Let's go back and load the Temple Run game here in 3, 2, 1. Alright, okay, seems like the Galaxy S7 Edge slightly faster, see here? Yes. Slightly better performance here with the Galaxy S7 Edge. Let's go back and launch. Uh, what else? What else? Subway Surfer. Three, two, one. Of course, you might not be opening uh, up, you know, these many games when you're using in real life. So, but of course, just to test them to their limits, I'm doing this. So you can see again, Galaxy S7 Edge faster. So. If you don't really know about the Exynos 8890, this Exynos 8890 chipset is actually faster than the Snapdragon 820 when it comes to benchmarks. So uh, you can see that uh, in terms of real life, the difference is there. Uh, the S7 Edge it feels slightly faster in some tests, but it may not be a big deal for most people. So um, next off will be the GTA San Andreas, a high graphical game in 3, 2, 1, go. Let's see here. Hmm. Seems like the G5 slightly faster. Very minimal difference. Let's see offline. Okay, so I'm just going to resume the game on both phones. Here we go. Okay, LG G5 finished off first. gonna go back and uh, we're gonna launch YouTube here we go and let's see here okay slightly faster again on the LG G5 so I'm just gonna quickly search so we will search our channels name Z deck gear same thing here Z deck here all right so I'm just gonna hit search and again you can see the LG G5 slightly ahead so let's go ahead and play this video faster on the S7 Edge but you can see scrolling and everything very very smooth so yeah I mean obviously people are interested in speed you know uh, but in just real life usage you might not be able to um, see this difference you know but uh, yeah uh, both were toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe in some tests the G5 was faster in some tests the S7 Edge was faster so yeah they are pretty damn awesome phones next off is the browsing test so I'm gonna be using Google Chrome on both phones 
so let's uh, go ahead and load up some similar websites so uh, first off will be wwe.com all right so I'm just gonna hit go on both phones there we go and let's see which will be faster and you can see LTG 5 just a tad bit faster here um, you can see zooming in and out extremely smooth on both phones and you can also see the screen difference a little bit this one is having a 5.3 inch display but and, and this one is having a 5.5 inch display but you can't really see that much of a big difference next off is phonearena.com in three two one go and again the LG 5 pulling ahead slightly faster again so let's open up this article okay again G5 pulling ahead if we just hold on this image okay that was pretty equal let's go back and again G5 pulled back faster than the S7 Edge so no, no doubt about that so you're getting a little bit of better um, internet performance maybe it's because of the Qualcomm chipset uh, you know I don't have the Snapdragon 820 variant of the S7 so you might get like a di little bit of different performance so uh, next off is be, uh, will be the next off will be gsmarena.com just gonna quickly type in there we go and again no this time they were pretty darn equal okay so we can open up this link here and again you can see if I'm not wrong the G5 may be slightly faster so that was pretty close of course if you're watching this video you know who was faster uh, we can go back here in three two one and again that was I think G5 was slightly quicker there uh, but I mean really the, the the internet performance seems to be better here a little bit with the G5s but again the difference was very small uh, you know uh, but yeah comparison wise G5 is winning the the uh, the browsing test uh, maybe because it's because of the Snapdragon variant uh, or Snapdragon chipset uh, let's go ahead and do a multitasking test here so these are all the applications that we open so now both phones have 4 gigs of RAM, let's see which one has a better multitasking and RAM management and all that stuff. So Play Store, and you can see clear, no problem, load it up nicely. Let's go back and load Facebook, no problem whatsoever, no refresh, going good. Instagram, no problem, whoa, you can see toe-to-toe -to -toe performance here. Temple Run, no problem whatsoever, going good. Subway Surfer, okay, this is going to be a tricky. No problem, impressive, impressive. I mean, I did receive an update on my Galaxy S7 Edge, so I think maybe I'm, think, I'm seeing a little bit of improvement here. Time for the most difficult part here, GTA San Andreas. Let's see which phone has this one opened up in the background. Here we go. Wow, both phones impressive stuff I mean like I said the S7 Edge improved a lot impressive 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 same thing with the G5 good 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 let's see here if we can take a look at I, I think we have one more application I think it was like YouTube maybe yes it was YouTube yeah so we're just gonna launch YouTube at the same time here we go Wow perfect Flawless performance on both phones. Okay, so time for the fingerprint sensor battle. So of course fingerprint sensor on the S7 Edge is built into the home key here while the LG G5 has, uh, has this one on the back like other phones like Nexus 6P and all that. So uh, yeah, you can unlock your phone by just putting the finger like this, not even pressing it. So, uh, but here you have to press it so that you can wake the device and then you can unlock it. So uh, let's see here, uh, three, two, one, go. Okay, that was pretty close. Okay, I'm just gonna lock, do it one more time. Here we go. Seems like the S7 Edge may be slightly faster. It's kind of hard to tell. 
Okay, let's do it one more time. Okay. Yeah, pretty similar. I think the S7 Edge uh, does feel faster sometimes, but most of the time you're not going to notice that much of a difference. Again, let's do it for the one last time. Here we go. Yeah, they are pretty much similar. So, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, basically, I'm just really impressed by the LG G5 here in this test here. You know, it's my first ever Snapdragon 820 phone. And I gotta say, even though the S7 Edge is better in terms of benchmarks, like it has a better multi-core score, about 6,000 something, but in real life, you're not gonna notice that much of a big difference. So, yeah, pretty awesome phone, speed-wise, amazing, amazing top of the list here so I'm gonna be comparing the G5 to other phones also especially the iPhone 6s and the Huawei Mate 8 so those two phones have a little bit of different chipset the Apple A9 and Kirin 950 so be sure to click the subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out